But with the age of sound came a new dimension in horror and a new voice for monsters. I am Dracula. Starring the Hungarian-born Bela Lugosi as the undead aristocrat, Universal Pictures presented Dracula as their first all-talking supernatural thriller. A moment ago, I stumbled upon a most amazing phenomenon. Something so incredible, I mistrust my own judgment. Look. This is Dracula, the original terrifying story of a maniac and a man who lived after death, lived on human blood, took the form of a vampire bat, and lured innocent girls to a fate truly worse than death. Dracula? Oh, what, what's he done to you, dearie? Tell he, me. He came to me. He opened a thing in his arm, and he made me drink. Unlike Max Schreck's more gothic interpretation, Lugosi's Dracula offered sex appeal and a dash of continental charm. It didn't hurt that Lugosi had created the role on Broadway and had been born and raised in the real-life shadows of Transylvania. Released on Valentine's Day, 1931, Dracula was billed as the strangest love story ever told and quickly became a box office success. Wasting no time, Universal announced plans to feature Lugosi in yet another gothic horror role as the monster in Frankenstein. But after Bela balked at a part which required no dialogue, the project's new director, James Whale, scouted around for a suitable replacement. Who he found was a 43-year-old actor named Boris Karloff. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! This is the story you've heard about, talked about, the spine-tingling, blood-chilling story that stuns your emotions. Frankenstein! Don't touch that! With imagery inspired by German expressionist films like The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, and the golem. Frankenstein offered spectacular visuals and genuine thrills. Frankenstein was an even bigger success than Dracula, and out of the ashes of the film's fiery climax, the universal monster movie was born. In rapid succession came other classic creatures like the mummy, is it dead or alive? You'll feel the awful, creeping, crawling terror that brings a scream to your lips. The Invisible Man and the Werewolf. There was even... Dracula! He's come back! Dracula's daughter... Do you like jewels, Lily? This is very old and very beautiful. Please don't come any closer. Frankenstein's bride and his son. The success of these universal monsters inspired rival studios to keep up. convinced that the thing on this table isn't human. Its cries are human. Do you know what it is, what I began with? No. An animal. Yeah. Yeah, this is Peter Laura speaking. I couldn't resist the temptation to call you. I just read of your new picture that you ought to make. Well, that's very nice of you. Thanks for your interest. What character are you going to play in? Oh, it's the most unusual story. You know, it's a great love drama. I am to be a half-mad scientist. I, a poor peasant, 
have conquered science. Why can't I conquer love? <laughs> he shall be shut up when it's I <laughs> who am mad. <laughs> but nobody knows that. Yes. Each man kills the thing he loves. Paramount Pictures offered a lavish remake of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Starring Frederick March, it became the first horror film to earn an Academy Award for the year's Best Actor. Dr. Jekyll, seeking man's salvation in the taboos of the unnatural, finding Mr. Hyde. It also featured the most impressive transformation scene ever achieved up to that time. Using a combination of colored lighting and contrasting makeup, director Ruben Mamoulian kept the unique process a secret until his death in 1987. Other notable offerings during this period were King Kong, about a 50-foot gorilla who terrorizes Manhattan, Dr. Cyclops as a mad scientist who shrinks his victims to microscopic size. What are you going to do? As you and your fellows develop toward normal size, you will again interfere with my work. And that is something which I cannot permit. And Mark of the Vampire. Let no one leave. No one yet your power. We will not stop until we have discovered the vampires who seek the life of this beautiful girl. And her lover. Watch out! They may be hovering over you. Or you. Or you! With Bela Lugosi as a counterfeit vampire in an atmospheric murder mystery. You shall be judges of this eerie conspiracy. But by the end of the 1930s, a second world war was raging. Adolf Hitler was terrorizing Europe, and adult audiences felt that make-believe monsters were little more than child's play. Telegram, Wolfbane. Oh, I'm sick of the whole thing. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, yeah, but is bitten by a werewolf and lives, becomes a werewolf himself. Oh, quit handing me that. You're just wasting your time. Released in 1941, the Wolfman attempted to jumpstart Universal's now dormant monster cycle. Starring Lon Chaney Jr., the story offered a strong ensemble cast that included Claude Rains, Ralph Bellamy, Bela Lugosi, and one of the scariest and hairiest movie monsters of all time. The Wolfman's box office success led to a revival of other screen monsters like The Mummy, Frankenstein's Monster, Dracula, and The Invisible Man. You have no power over me. That was ended many years ago. I'm no longer your slave. You're a fool, Andreas, a complete utter fool. Your fate is to be what you are, as mine is to be what I am. Your master, come here. I won't. I, 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 I won't. Look at me, Andreas. Andreas, come here. Master, 
You have come back. 